It is my privilege to introduce the top two scholars in the Highlands High School class of 2012 as they reflect on their academic journey. We will start with our salutatorian, Ember Michelle Porter. <laughs> Ember is ranked second in her class with a grade point average of 100.2. She was the drama president, Mu Alpha Theta secretary, and a member of the Highlands High School Choir. Ember plans to attend Trinity University and major in mathematics education. The salutatorian medal will be presented by Dr. Sylvester Pettis, our superintendent. Welcome everybody to the class of 2012 graduation ceremony. A graduation ceremony is an event where the commencement speaker tells thousands of students dressed in identical caps and gowns that individuality is the key to success. With that said, I would like to thank the teachers that have given me so much support this year and for being there as a shoulder whenever I had problems and for being a light at times when I felt lost. I would like to thank the parents here for supporting your kids and I would love to commend my fellow students who didn't have their uh, parent support. I would also like to thank my best friend, Rebecca, for always being there for me and for slapping me in the back of the head whenever I needed it. Now, there are a couple words I would like to leave with my classmates before we depart and go our separate ways. First off, most people know that high school is about learning, but the most important lessons we learn can't be taught out of a textbook. They are lessons we learn through trial and error. For example, some of our classmates had difficulties passing their tax, but they didn't let that stop them. Instead, they worked hard and studied with the support of their teachers and friends, and now, because of all that hard work, they passed their tax and are here today graduating with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes things don't always turn out as we plan. Most of us, when we were younger, said we were going to be famous when we grew up. We aspired to be a firefighter, a doctor, and even the President of the United States. But how many of us can say that what we wanted are still the same things we want now? But sometimes change plans are good plans. My life before I came to high school was full of trouble. I was a troublemaker, I didn't respect my teachers, and I didn't care what anybody said. If I had continued down that path of trouble, I wouldn't be able to stand up here today and be proud of all my accomplishments, and I probably wouldn't have been the salutatorian. Things change, but change is good. If everything we did or said was written in stone, then there would be no adventures in our lives. Throughout our lives, we pass through phases, and through these phases, we leave behind people, places, and memories. And I know we might think it's hard to leave our friends now, but we must remember. Truly great friends are hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to forget. So even though we are all parting, those are who are true friends, we will never forget. Also, in the future, when you find yourselves in trouble, remember that you are your biggest advocate. We can't go on our whole lives depending on or hiding behind other people. It's time for us to strike out in the world on our own and learn the life lessons that life has to offer. Now, I'm not saying that we have to do it all alone because accepting help from others is okay. We're not invincible. We cry, we hurt, and we bleed, but we also love. Remember, even through the worst of storms, there will always follow the brightest and most beautiful rainbow you will ever see afterwards. Keep moving forward because you never know what you might get. With that said, I want everyone to remember this. I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can always adjust my sails to reach my destination. I want everyone to think of these words by Jimmy Dean whenever you feel like you get stuck in life and think of roadblocks as opportunities. So, once again, congratulations, class of 2012, and when you leave here today, walk with your head held high because, you know what, we made it. And now I'd like to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2012, Mr. Brian David Greshel. 
Brian is our valedictorian with a grade point average of 101.8. He is an Eagle Scout and was involved in the Highlands High School Marching and Concert Band, Jazz Band, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Communities and Schools, and the San Antonio Youth Wind Ensemble. Brian will be attending Baylor University and major in computer science. Science. The valedictorian medal will be presented by our superintendent, Dr. Pettis. Fellow graduates, friends, family, administrators, and teachers, it is an honor to speak to you today as valedictorian of the class of 2012. I would like to thank everyone for being here for this momentous occasion. Many of you know speaking in front of an audience is not something I'm very comfortable with. However, this is an example of how we all can do anything we believe in, no matter how difficult. Anything is possible, and everyone has the potential to fulfill their dreams and goals in life as long as they believe in themselves. Some of us already know our plans for our future and career goals. Some of us are still trying to decide how to proceed from here. And some of us will take it one day at a time until we find our place in life. None of these are the wrong choice. We each have to decide what our future will hold. With the education we have obtained throughout our school years and the pride of being a graduate of Highlands High School, we will all continue on to do great things in life. I believe we should all be proud to be a graduate of Highlands High School. For me, Highlands is a part of my family history. My mom, dad, three aunts, and eight uncles are all Highlands High School alumni. My uncle Stephen was in the first graduating class of Highlands in 1959, and his class chose our mascot, colors, alma mater, yearbook name, and many of the traditions still followed at Highlands. Another aunt and uncle met here at Highlands, married, and have celebrated their 50th class reunion. All of these Highlands alumni have had successful careers, and all are grateful to be a part of the history of Highlands. My family is very proud that I have continued their Highlands tradition. Being a graduate of Highlands High School and the class of 2012 is something for us all to be proud of. The time we spent in high school is something we will remember forever. We obtained an education that is vital for the transition into our new life. Most of us also kept a well-balanced life while in school. Many of us were involved in extracurricular activities such as sports, band and music programs, and other clubs and organizations. We spent much time with these groups and made many friendships that will last forever. These experiences we have gained throughout our involvement at school have influenced us to want to become highly successful. Let us treasure these friendships and experiences and bring them with us as we begin the path to our future. The class of 2012 is the end of an era for us as we will be graduating from the school that we and our alumni have always known. However, it is also the start of something new. This is the beginning of the next phase of our lives where we have to learn to live on our own, make our own decisions, and be completely responsible for ourselves. From here on out, there will be no one telling us what to do or how to do it. It is time for us to become independent and be able to live our own lives as we find our place in the real world. The experiences we have had and the skills we have learned in school will enable us to contribute our role to society and be able to make a difference in the world. On behalf of the class of 2012, I would like to thank all of the teachers, administrators, band directors, coaches, and faculty who provided us with the guidance we needed to reach this milestone in our life. I would also like to personally thank my family, and especially my mother, father, and grandmother, who have supported me throughout my life and encouraged me to be able to be where I am today. Finally, I would like to thank all of my friends for being there for me every day and helping me to believe in myself. We stand together today for the last time as we prepare to move on to the next stage of our lives. We are now ready to pursue our ambitions and take on the world. As a great man named Steve Jobs once said, I think if you do something and it turns out pretty good, then you should go on to do something else wonderful, not dwell on it for too long. Just figure out what's next. I would like to wish all of you the best of luck. Congratulations, Highlands High School Class of 2012.